Welcome, my friends. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino company, Ortelino.com. I'm Dieter, Dieter Manschura, and I'm the owner of this little family company located in southern Bavaria. And we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions, by the way, since 2001. And we produce these videos about Japanese prints. Today's subject is a little bit crazy. Okay, I want to talk about Van Gogh. Yeah, the impressionist, post-impressionist um, painter who never sold a painting during his, in his lifetime, which ended in 1981 by suicide. And I want to talk about the relationship of Van Gogh with Japanese prints. And I want to talk about Okuyama Gihachiro. That name uh, you may never have heard. He is a Japanese woodblock printmaker, um, lesser known actually. And, and now we have the, conne the connection. He made woodblock prints and among these woodblock prints are copies made after famous paintings by Van Gogh, but made in the technique of Japanese traditional woodblock prints. Well, one after the other. First, let's talk about um, Giachiro Okoyama, was born in 1970 and died in 1981. And in the beginnings, he worked as a commercial illustrator Later in 1946, he established his own publishing company, the Japan Print Institute. And according to Helen Merritt, uh, a well-known writer of books about Japanese prints, well, Giachiro Okoyamo made uh, more than a thousand designs of Japanese woodblock prints. Quite astonishing for me because, well, I sold so roughly 70,000 Japanese prints since our beginnings in 2001. And I remember well, a few dozens, but I'm sure Hal Merritt is, is right. And among these designs uh, by Okoyama Iachiro are um, quite a few um, designs made after famous paintings by French Impressionists. And the best known ones or uh, these uh, woodblock prints made after paintings by Van Gogh. And now, my friends, let's talk about Vincent Van Gogh and his relationship with Japanese prints. I don't want to give you a biography. You're an educated person and you know Vincent Van Gogh, well, the, the great post-impressionist painter who never sold a painting during his life. Well, uh, born 1853 and died in a tragic way. He shot himself in 1890. In 1885, that was five years before his death and his most productive um, period, he saw Japanese prints for the first time in Antwerp in the Netherlands. And he began to buy a few. They were cheap at that time and often they were reproductions. What people in Europe and especially in France and the Netherlands um, could see which were the main export countries for Japanese prints and Japanese um, artisan products at the end of the 19th century. Uh, in 1886, Vincent van Gogh moved to Paris. That was the mecca of art at that time with all these famous uh, names of the French Impressionists and Post-Impressionists, Toulouse, Lautrec, and they all were in Paris and most of them were in the quarter of Montmartre. And this is also where um, Vincent van Gogh took a small apartment and where his brother Theo, he had an art gallery. He was a dealer in art and at Montmartre, Theo, also a Dutch, uh, ran an art gallery and there was another shop um, at Montmartre called the Bing Gallery. And it was uh, named after the owner Samuel Bing. And it was a shop for Japanese prints 
and other uh, Japanese artisan and art products. And Samuel Bing there in this shop had thousands of Japanese prints on stock. And the Bing Gallery was pretty close uh, to Vincent van, van Gogh's apartment. And Vincent spent days in, in this shop. Um, he was so enthusiastic about Japanese prints. In 1887, Vincent van Gogh even made two paintings, copies after original woodblock prints by Ando Hiroshige. And now, okay, to conclude this the chapter and give you an impression of the impression that Vincent van Gogh had about Japanese prints and the influence that Japanese prints had on, on, on the artworks of Vincent van Gogh. I want to read from a letter that he wrote to his brother Theo. So now beginning of quotation, my friends. I envy the Japanese artists for the incredible neat clarity which all their works have. It is never boring and you never get the impression that they work in a hurry, dot. It is as simple as breathing, dot. They draw a figure with a couple of strokes with such an unfailing easiness as if it were as easy as buttoning one's waistcoat. End of quotation, my friends. When I compared um, the woodblock print the copy after Vincent van Gogh made by Gihachiro Okoyama and the original, well, the one thing astonished me completely because you can hardly imagine a, a bigger contrast regarding the technique. Well, how did Vincent van Gogh uh, make his famous paintings? Well, he used a very broad brush strokes and over the, the most productive his last years, he even used uh, a palette knife um, to get the, the color paste on, on the canvas, very, very thick. And on the other hand, uh, the woodblock print technique, centuries old, very refined, very elaborate, where you carve thin lines into a, a wooden block and um, well, how is it possible that this looks so much like a, a, a painting by Vincent van Gogh? Well, this is the copy, the woodblock print. Now let's take a look at the original painting. It shows uh, Vincent's room in Arles, by the way. Uh, I have to move a little bit back. Well, and then I made, my friends, an interesting discovery. And, and now it comes, yeah. Vincent van Gogh used uh, a technique of the, used by Japanese printmakers uh, until the 19th century and later. And this technique are these so-called black lines or border lines or key uh, border lines or key block uh, lines. Well, now look at this original painting. And there you see thin black lines used by Vincent van Gogh. Or look at the chairs, yeah? Here you see all these black lines. Vincent van Gogh learned that from Japanese prints. Um, if you don't believe me, I selected a, a print by Kunisada, so roughly first half of the 19th century. And there you see black lines, all flat areas in, in all Japanese prints, they all have these black border lines here. Can you see them? And this in, in my impression, maybe, but let's go back to the original and here we have the copy. Well, this definitely creates a common stylistic characteristic used in, in both worlds with such different techniques. The crazy painting technique of Van Gogh and this very refined, elaborate woodblock print making technique used by 
um, Japanese print makers and therefore probably yeah uh, well a copy like this or a woodblock print made after a painting by Vincent van Gogh uh, may look so familiar uh, to us familiar to the original my friends why did I select this subject Vincent van Gogh Giachiro Okoyama and the relation to Japanese prints, well, for a very specific reason. Currently, we have this woodblock print. This is the woodblock print by Gihachiro Okoyama in our current auction. And also, this is made after a famous painting by Vincent van Gogh. Um, today is Saturday, uh, March 20 of 2021. And this auction will end tomorrow at 8 p.m. our local time, which is CET, Central European Time. We are located in Germany and southern Bavaria. And currently, I think there's a dogfight going on between two or more bidders um, for this woodblock print. Um, it's, it's, um, you won't need it, you won't encounter it too often for this woodblock print by Gihachiro Okoyama. And I would be pleased, I'm always pleased to see you in our auctions, of course, and I'm also pleased to see you in our videos. Until then, thanks for watching and have a good time.